you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Okay. Where did you get those trust from? We are talking, can't you talk again? What, 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 what kind of question is that? Uh, uh, we got it from where we usually get them from. Uh, oh, you got it from where you usually get them. Okay, did he not tell you that that place you usually gather the straw is my land? Hey! Abana, he's lying. That place he's talking about is my own father's portion of the family's land. Uncle, why are you lying now? You called me a liar. Eh? A liar over my own land. Hmm, uncle. See, if you think you are good in taking other people's property, Uncle, you will not take my own. You will not take my own, not when I'm still alive. Now I will know. Between me and you, who has the authority in our family, I'm ordering you now to take these straws back from where you pick them. Right now. Now, now. <laughs> hey! Uncle, I cannot do it. Did you hear me? Okay. I will not do that. Give me a little. Give me a little. Give me a little. I, I, I was coming back from the Strathfield with Ikedike. His uncle met us with a machete. Uh -huh. After a few arguments with him, he struck Ikedike with his machete. Hey! So, Abana, where's my son? Where's my son? I had to run as fast as I could come and inform you. Oh! Abana, you killed me! You have killed me, Abana! How do you mean you ran as fast as you could? And you could not even start to fight with my son! <laughs> You push me down, eh? Hey. You push me down. You fuck them, boy. Wait, you will see. You will suffer for this. Any time I have a Come on, I'm not man. There's nothing you can do to me. I'm too much for you to handle. Look at you, this wicked man. Oh, look at you. You called me a wicked man. Yeah, wicked man. You are a wicked, a wicked man. man. What are you mean? <laughs> Wait and see. I will show you the true meaning of wickedness. Hey! Oh, my my jeans are You will see. No. Did he cut you No. This wicked man wants to kill himself and not me. If not that my tree is alive, he would have butchered me. Dimba! You are a shameless man. You killed my husband like you killed your four wives and children. Now you want to kill my only son. My only son, Dimba! But there's something you don't know. Chinka wanya chato. Only chako do. Efi ne wa rodo to. Chia na churi aiziji. And I will tell you that I'm a woman that sits like this and you net. The next time you dear my son, I swear to God of this land, I will sit on the ground for you. Any day you touch my son again. This land will judge me and you. 
And I want to tell you that my son's head cannot pass your truth. Okay, 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 you will know how many heads, how many cows okay. and goats that are involved. Oh, Diego. Dike. Oh, Diego. Hundred cows. Let's go. You will know how many cows that are involved. You. You shall see. Okay. 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 I'm your father, and I know the best for you. Look at your sister Sinachi, who got married a few weeks ago to Okechuku, the rich merchant from Ndioma community. You saw for yourself how everything went well, how the ceremony was sweet. Everybody had enough to drink and to eat. Now, they are living very well together. That is because Okechuku had what it takes to look after a wife. Would it be a thing of great honor if all my daughters married rich husbands? Husbands who can take care of them and take care of me and your mother. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, Papa, what you're trying to say is that I should marry Mazuzukwe? Yes. Papa, I've made myself clear on this that I will not and will never marry him. It looks like you are becoming a very stubborn child. But let me tell you, this your stubbornness will not work. It will not because you must marry Mazin Zongwe. Papa, Papa, I've said it before and I'm saying it again. That nothing will make me to marry him. Not sin. What are you trying to do? Are you trying my patience or you just want to know what I can do? Papa, 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 I've never gone against you before. I've never. But Papa, for this one, I won't agree. I can't marry him because Papa, I don't love Mazio Zokwe. Uh, Oloma, uh, listen to me, my child. Uh, how would you feel if, after investing so much time and resources in something you hope to gain so much in the future, and then something comes suddenly and disrupts all your plans and all your expectations get scattered. How would you feel? Of course you will feel bad. That is exactly how Mazu Zokwe will feel after all those gifts that he has given to us. Wait, 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 wait. Papa. Papa, so it's because of the gifts he brings, right? But that's the reason you want your youngest daughter to marry a man she doesn't love. Ah, well, we can as well, or you can as well return the gift to him. Hmm? Because I'm not interested. Papa, I've said it before, and I'm saying it again, that nothing will make me marry Majo Zokwe. Zokwe, I told you you don't have anything to worry about. Eh? You don't have anything to worry about. In fact, Luma is already yours. Just go and prepare for the marriage rights. Ichi, that is what you have been saying for the past weeks. And nothing seemed to be happening. The girl in question has not shown any positive sign. <laughs> you know, 
you must understand one thing that this is a girl. And a young one at that, uh, coupled with the fact that she's a woman. Women, they must not say yes at that their first instance. They must show that their flowery attitude of a peacock, first of all. <laughs> uh, but don't worry, uh, I will talk to her. Uh, please do, because I don't understand. By now, I was expecting to see something very positive and not these excuses that you have given me. Zokwe, don't be impatient. Eh? Things don't work uh, so easily as you young men think. Oh, but that is why you are the father. And is that not the reason why I've been sending you all these gifts? So that you can use your influence and authority to subdue her. Uh, your gifts are not in vain. Don't worry, I will soften her up. Eh? Don't talk like that. Even the gods have decreed that you will be my next thing. Telling you. That was what I was thinking. Don't oh, worry. I will talk to her. I will talk to her. Eh? But let me even call her so that she can greet you. So that you will understand. Uh, Oloma. 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 From the look on your face, it seems she's not around. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I think her mother sent her somewhere, so she'll soon be back. When she comes, I will call her. Uh, let me get you some wine to drink. Uh, no, it's okay. I am not in the mood. In fact, I am on my way. But I promise I will send you more gifts tomorrow. <laughs> you shouldn't worry about all this. But don't worry. Next time you come, we hear positive res results. I, I, I just hope so. And please send me well to her. Yeah, okay, I'll be there. All right. Bye bye. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Huh. Okay, I got a lot of talk with mother. This girl will put me in trouble. Why are you sitting at the back of my house? Mm, Maziko, I came to sit here because I know you will definitely pass this place. Anyway, I came to see you. I hope you are here with a good purpose. Hmm, it's a very good purpose, Maziko. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. can see it. Anybody that visits me with a keg of power like this was called with a good purpose. <laughs> <laughs> but still, our people used to say that a toad does not run in the daytime for nothing. There must be something after his life. So, why are you here? Maziko, I need your help. I said it! <laughs> I said it! A toad does not run in the daytime for, <laughs> for nothing. There must be something after the toad's life. Anyway, uh, let me test this power first. Then we can go on with our discussion. Yeah, it's very sweet. You will like it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Ugo, this is a sweet wine. <laughs> Very good wine. Now, <clears throat> how may I help you? Maziko, please, I want you to influence Uso to marry me. <coughs> Ugo, do you want to choke me? What did you just say? Oloma does not love him. He's only going to waste his time with her. After all, I know the kind of bad bad comments she makes about him. I'm the one who has love for him. And that's why I'm here to see you as his friend. So he can help me impress it on him that I have his love at heart. Oh, but him not be. I'm as I promise you. If my intentions are successful, eh, you benefit a lot from me. <sighs> Uh, Ugo, I heard all you said and I understand it. I cannot talk to Uzokwe without you first make your intention known to him. 
Yes, you need to go to him first and tell him what you want. Then after that, come back to me and tell me that I will take it up from there. Maziko, you have a point there. I will be exactly as suggested. <laughs> but please, just do your best for me. Ah, uh, uh, why are you talking like this? With this kind of sweet power, <laughs> then I will do anything for you. I will even tell him all you did not mention about him. I will tell him. <laughs> So, let me be on my way now. Uh, one more thing. I, I will appreciate if you be coming with sweet power like this. <laughs> so that we can smooth the process. <laughs> but because that will not be a problem. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Bye -bye. Good day. Bye-bye. Bye. This -bye. Bye. 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 Come to think of it, would I sit back and watch a pauper like Ikeri take my beautiful bride away? Or must I just sit back and wait for our father with his vain excuses before knowing what to do? No, I can't keep wasting my resources endlessly without an adequate payment. That is not possible. Before I slit your throat. It's me, Ugo. Ugo Ma. Ugo Ma's friend. Ugo? This is strange. What brings you to my abode at this time of the night? Ma, this is okay. I came to discuss something with you. All ears, I'm listening. Mazi Zabe. Okay. Yes. Can I ask you something? Of course you can. What exactly do you see in that girl, Oloma? I cannot see in any other girl. I'm not supposed to be telling you this, though. but I have to because of the love and respect I have for you. Uh -huh. Stop wasting your resources and time on somebody that does not appreciate your efforts. Ogo, I don't understand you. What are you talking about? I'm talking about my friend Oloma. She does not love you. And how did you know that? How did you know that? Isn't it obvious to you? Or haven't you noticed her attitude towards you? Or do you need a soothsayer to tell you that she does not approve of you? I, I don't know. I don't know if you're telling me the truth. But I'm wondering why you have decided to come to tell me this. I'm telling you this because you are looking at the wrong place. Where there are other beautiful maidens that will appreciate your efforts better. I just come in here to advise you with you. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, No, 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 no. Uh, please sit. Sit, 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 sit. Please sit. I, I did not say you have done something wrong. It's just that I'm surprised. Oh. You're surprised? Yes. You're already surprised when I've not told you despicable things she said about you. Despicable things about me? Yes, sir. Just go and thank your stars that you have somebody like me that does not hate you as, as much as Uluma does. If not, eh? Can you please tell me some of these despicable things that she had said about me? Is okay. No, I cannot. Because it's already late. If I start telling you this story, I may not finish before done. So let me be on my way. Eh? I'll come to one other time. No, no, please. Please. Good night. Oluma, uh, sorry. Ugo, uh, please come back. Come back here. Ugo. Ugo.
It's dead midnight and you're here sitting down. Let's go to sleep. Please. Please. I am not feeling sleepy yet. And I'm not ready to go. Ike. Humans retire to their hearts by this time. Only spirit that moves around. Look at It's midnight. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm okay. Hmm? I'll be fine. Just go, I will join you soon. Yes, mama. You know what? I'm waiting for you. Bata ba kita kita. Change. Ano ba yun? What's this? Ano ko? You don't want to get it. Go away from there. Let me warn you. The next time you leave this house without my permission, I will skin you alive. I don't care if you are my daughter. Well, I don't even know. You will understand that you are not a child from another man outside. Nani! You must obey my instructions. Nani! At every time. I tell you. Stupid girl. Useless girl. Elders, I greet you. You're welcome. Dimba! My elders. <gasps> I am not the one that provoked the fight between I and my uncle here. He started it first. Ike Dike. Ike Dike. Are you supposed to engage him in a fight in the first place? Knowing fully well that he is your father's elder brother. As well, you are father. May the gods forbid. No, I said may the gods forbid. How can you say that this wicked man seated here is my father? Hey! Shut up. Shut up. Okay. Ikerika, have you forgotten that you are standing before the elders? Are you supposed to fight an elder? No. An elder who does not respect his status as an elder will expect trouble from children. You heard it? You heard him well. Have you seen what I've been experiencing from this standing idiot? You have seen it. Dimba Koriasi. Unafugia. Ike Dike. I see now what I'm for. Okay, and I'm again. Abakuche. Abakuche. If not because of the love I have for your father, if not for the good relationship I had with your father, the good way we all lived with your father, a GK, a good man, we know what your offense is all about, we know what you've committed, but all the same, a you were in your 
You are still our son anywhere. We will mandate you. The elders of this kindred is mandating you now to come before your father. Kneel down and ask for forgiveness. Eh? Yes. Akudo. Akudo. Biko. Potaban. Hmm? I don't need his apology. Let him go with his apology. We all know that this compound fool here is unrepentant. Yes! Let him go with his apology. But all I want is this. He should stop entering that straw field. Yeah. Period. All go sick or I'm known. I say, I say, hey, Dimba, you have lied. Now listen, let me tell you. That straw field is my father's portion of the vast land. And so you cannot stop me from operating there. You can't. And who told you the part of the history of this land, if I may ask? Yes. Who told you that? Not your mother. Who told you the part of the history of that land? That's what he asked you. Who else, my brother? Who else, if not his mother? Uh, As it stands, your mother has never been invited in this matter. And he has never asked to deliberate in this issue at any cost. Or in no ramification, it doesn't concern your mother. Whichever way. You have erred. And you have committed that you must pay fine. If not banishment. Of course we'll not banish you. Only thing we don't know the people we are thinking that we don't know how to do is that. But if you die, we bury you. Fine. Therefore, there is a solution. Fine. We prove a solution to this matter. You have offended. And it attracts fine. We have rules in this place, is it not true? Yes. Akudo Kube. You should go to Maze Onochia. Ask him what your fine is and pay. And until you do that, you have ceased to be a member of this country. You have spoken well according to you. But let me tell all of you, I cannot stand here to listen to you deceitful elders. Yes! Because you cannot see the truth and say it! Now you listen, Dimba. There are two things that will make me kill you. You see, next time you insult my mother, and next time you comfort me about this land, I will do worse things to you. I will pay the fine. Dimba! Dimba! Oh, Guinea! I couldn't forget. I'm going to Dimba again, I'm going to Dimba again. Hmm? I'm going to put it in the middle of the day. I'm going to put it in the middle of the day. I'm going to put it in the middle of the day. I'm going to put it in the middle of the day. Okay. I'm going to put it in the middle of the day. Good You have to do. Uh, did you see who's okay? Mm. How did your meeting go? Mm. He was shocked when I told him. Ah, and then what? Nothing else. I couldn't say much after that because he seemed to be filled with some other issues. Ah. Mm. So I left. I see. Mm. I have made my intentions known to him. So it's left for you as his friend to help me talk to him on my behalf. Ah, uh, it's okay. Uh, 
that is all right. Uh, don't worry. I'm, I will see him later today. You know, he's my friend, so I know how to deal with him. <laughs> uh, and mind you, don't forget to call with a keg of pie while as you promise me. <laughs> Father, because that won't be a problem. I'll come with another pot for you later. Or Jugo is a private matter. Private matter. How private is the matter? <laughs> I said it's a private matter. You're asking too much. Come, let's go. What's going on now? I'm calling you and just ignored me. Abana, why are you calling me? Ah, why something like this? Are we having any issue? Abana. So you could abandon me in the face of war. Ah, why is something like this? What did I do? Now I know you are not my friend I thought you were. What did I do? Why do you have to run away yesterday when Mazidimba attacked me? I did not run. I went to fetch your mother. You went to fetch my mother? You went to fetch my mother and you swear told her that I was butchered to death? Oh, Habana. So if I was attacked by the mobs, that is how you'd have left me to my fate, right? Okay, when my mother came, where were you? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Ah, it hasn't got into that. See, you're taking this thing too seriously, oh. Ike? Oh, Uzokwe, you should have insisted. You should have insisted she told you before she left. Oh, I, I know. I know, but I was too shocked to start reasoning well. Mm. I know. In fact, I could not sleep throughout last night. My spirit was deeply troubled. That is why I sent for you this morning. Oh, <laughs> but don't you think this could be a blessing in disguise? Blessing in disguise? Yes. How do you mean? I mean, since Ugo's move, I mean, don't you think it's time to try an alternative to Uloma? Yes, I, I mean, she, she does not approve of you. And who told you Uloma does not approve of me? Who told you that? Then if she approves of you, why haven't she agreed to your proposal since you've been taking those gifts to her father? Echo, now listen to me. I am the one that is sending all these gifts to her father. Mm. I have never complained to you. So you can as well keep this your advice to yourself. Now listen, in case it is Ugo that has been sending you to entreat on behalf of her, tell her it is Oloma that I am marrying, okay? Uh, uh, are you going in to drink the palm wine? <laughs> no palm wine this time, no palm wine! Then, if there's no palm wine, next time don't send for me. Is that a threat? Maziko, mm -hmm. please, were you able to talk to Mazis upon my behalf? Mm. I did. I did. It seems we are going to use another strategy. Yes, he still insists on Loma. Yes. And what other strategy are you thinking of? You will have to cook for him. <laughs> yes. Cook for him? Mm hmm. Uh, uh, See, they say the shortest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Yes, you have to cook for Uzokwe. I will give you something you will drop in this food. As soon as he eats it, <laughs> you will think of nobody else except you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maziko. <Huh>? Ijia. <laughs> How do they expect you to raise the fan? How? Where? Hey. Besides, I know it's Dimba's fault. At the first place, I know it. Mama. Mama, you don't need to be told how wicked and heartless those kinsmen are. They are all the same. But I will overcome. Yes, my son, we will. We will overcome it. We must. <laughs> but what worries me is about the fine. How will... How... Don't worry. 
I will sell the two baskets I just finished. Hey! The two lovely baskets! But don't worry. I know I will make a good sum when I sell it at Ugonjo Market. Ugonjo Market? Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Hey! <laughs> Dimba. Dimba. Very soon. You will meet your Waterloo. Definitely not. That's my suitcase. My suitcase. How are you? I'm fine, now. I've been wanting to see you, Anachara. But since it's only you I've seen now, I think it's okay. I want you to do something for me. <laughs> now, what is it? Hey, I wanted to ask, do you know anything about the relationship between my daughter, Luma, and that flutist? Ah, no. I don't know. Because I don't go with her whenever she's going there. You mean she doesn't allow you go to the place with her? Hmm. This girl. That means she has started doing something secret. Hey, this girl will not spoil my family name. Or... Anyway, uh, listen. There's something I want you to do. I want to give you a task. From now onwards, I want you to monitor everything she does. Hmm? I want to put an eye on that girl uh, while I deal with IKDK myself. Please, I want you to do that for me. Okay, hmm? nice. Okay. I will reward you adequately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I will oblige. Ah, good. You see, if my daughter were like you, it would have been good. <laughs> yeah, right, in life. Okay, uh, I'll be going. But please don't forget. Huh? Okay, now. This is one one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this stupid man. That I should keep watch over his daughter while he forces her to marry a man I have already developed interest in. Even though I am Ogoma's friend, they better allow her to marry the one she desires and leave my Uzokwe for me. If he wants to monitor Ogoma, he should tie a rope to his neck and to Ogoma's waist. Follow her anywhere she goes. Rubbish. No, 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 no. I've not come here to sit and chat with you. I've only come to warn your son, Ikedike. To stay away from my daughter. I don't want to see him anywhere near my daughter again. Because the day I see him or I hear that he's around her, I'm going to deal with him. And you, the mother, you will see what I will do to him. Let him keep those things that look like cassava stem between his legs. You should stay away from my daughter and disease from staying. See her. A word is enough for the wise. Wants me to marry Mazizokwe, but I don't want to marry him. It's unfortunate. So, what are you going to do now? Okay, it's you. It's you I want to marry. It's you I love. Oh. Let's just go somewhere far away from this land. Where? He came anywhere. Anywhere that we can share our, our happiness in peace and harmony. No, 
my law is not possible. What is not possible? To marry me? Or to run away with you? Don't you love me anymore? No. I I do love you as much as you love me. We can't just stand the risk of your father's anger. And And what, Ikim? Ikim, Ikim, please. For you, I can risk anything. Ikim, your love is sufficient for me. And as long as your heart burns with affection for me, I can overcome any threat. Okay, you came. Mm -hmm. I want you to make me the happiest girl in the world. I want to listen to your melodious flutes. I just want to feel the joy of your flute. Can you play it for me? I do to make you live, Oloma. I want to have rest of mind in this land. Biko! I am your mother. Listen to me. Can I move to Dono? No, I'm sorry, it's not possible. Eh? Has she charmed you? Yes, I mean. Yes. Hey. Oloma has charmed me with her love. And I cannot deny her. Kini! Ikedi, is a girl's love more valuable than your life? Is it? Is it more valuable than your life? Tell me. Answer me. Is it? Nay, nee, I cannot deny the affection that Uluma has for me. Hey. Not even her father can stop this dream. What dream? What the hell dream are you talking about? Tell me, Ikedi! I am here trying to stop you from danger! And you are here talking about stupid, useless love! You call the love I have for Luma stupid love? Hey! No problem. No problem. But I'm sorry I can't stop. Ikedi, you're telling me you're sorry. Ikedi, Ikedi, I'm talking to you. Ikedi, I'm really not an enemy. Hey, Emily, mom, Hey, Chamber Joe, I never knew my 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 nephew was having something to do with your daughter. How can you know? Is he not your brother's uh, son? He probably has been receiving tips from you. He is. But we don't get along. Honestly, that boy has been an obstacle to me. It was when you were talking to the mother that I saw a great opportunity to deal with him squarely. Yes. So, how come I didn't see you then? <laughs> the ma. I couldn't possibly show myself. I was hiding, listening and watching you from a corner. Okay, um, tell me, how do you intend we deal with the boy? Okay, okay, that's a nice question. As two people 
who are against Iked. I have come for us to plan. Uh, point of correction. I'm not against Ikedike. All I want is for Ikedike to leave my daughter. Period. We are still saying the same thing. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, my work. Kedake and Wedenia. It's still the same thing. Oh, I can't Wedenia. There is no better way to ensure that Ikedi doesn't get close to your daughter than to put him away from your daughter permanently. What is it? Youths, forgive me. Woman, bring out your son. Yes, yes, yes. What has he done? Your son, Ikedike, has adopted the chamber's daughter, Aloma. Yes! Bring him out at once. No, 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 no. My son cannot. No, 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 wait, wait. What did I do? Let's <laughs> go. 